Let's talk about making cutouts and inserting a sink, for example. The first step is to measure and mark the underside of your worktop so you know exactly where the cutout needs to go. You can use a paper template to draw the cutout shape, or if you're making a cutout for a sink, you can position it on the worktop and trace around it. To help you, new sinks often come with a template printed on the sink packaging. If you're making your own template, remember to draw the inner dimension of the sink. Otherwise, the hole you cut will be too big and the whole sink unit will simply slip through the hole. Now you need to drill starter holes so you can get your jigsaw blade through the worktop to start cutting. Of course, the starter holes need to be wide enough to allow your jigsaw blade to go through. Firstly, determine the correct location for drilling by measuring where they should be and then matching that point with corresponding measurements on the other side of the worktop. Remember to add 10 millimeters to each of your measurements so that you start cutting inside the required area and your hole doesn't end up being too big. And start drilling from the top of the worktop surface to prevent any chipping. Cut with your jigsaw blade from the underside. If you have two or more cutouts to make, leave at least 250 millimeters between each one. Once you've done all the cutting, clean away any dust and seal the edges. Then add acrylic around the edge of the sink unit and position the unit on the underside of the worktop. Clamp it into place, starting in the middle and working your way outwards.